Now on Coin 6 News at 4, a deadly plane crash in the gorge as a popular air show is about to begin this weekend. We're live finding out what went wrong. And then a hit and run crash leaves a person dead in Vancouver. What police know about any potential suspects? Plus. We just want to know the truth. Just the truth. We don't wish punishment or harm on anyone. Friends react to the news of an arrest eight months after a driver hit and kills a woman in Hillsborough. A live update on the new developments. Live, you're watching Coin 6 News at 4. Watching out for you. First tonight, investigators flock to Hood River County in the wake of a deadly small plane crash. The single engine plane fell right out of the sky late this morning with a lot of aviation experts and insiders already there in the area. This is Coin 6 News at 4 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hoff. And I'm Ben Silken. The FAA is the lead agency looking into today's plane crash during a popular air show in Hood River. The small plane crashed at around 10 o'clock this morning. Let's switch to our Jennifer Dowling, who's live at the Hood River Airport, where the investigation is happening right now. Jem? Good evening. This is a really tragic way to kick off what's typically a really fun weekend here in Hood River. That plane crashed right behind me uh, near the hangar there where the fence posts are taped off. There's some disturbed dirt there where the plane went down. And this was a really significant crash. That plane was mangled. And the FAA is investigating, as you mentioned. The Hood River County Sheriff's Office is also talking about some of the developments in this case. They said the two people uh, were flying in an antique plane called a Piper Cub. Uh, witnesses reported hearing it sputter after it got off the ground. Then Deputy Joel Ives says it made a right turn in the air of about 90 to 100 degrees. Then it did a nosedive, crashing back into the earth. There's a lot of people here, um, and this is a pretty tight-knit community, and so it's, it's a pretty tragic time for them. Sympathies with the family, and it's a terrible way to 